peace and blessings fam it's your girl t back with another video yes i'm service in northern california so please smash that save button subscribe and share this video with family and friends yes it's time to make my client pretty she has been suffering from hair loss for some time now yes hair loss is no joke alopecia is spreading but no more worries ladies why because i can help no more shame ladies why because i can help teas braids and weaves got you because hair is what i love to do much love to all my clients and my ultimate goal is to help as many people as i can that are suffering from hair loss and alopecia you can view more pictures videos and more details on my services on my facebook page at tees braids and weaves so this is my client again she has been wearing wigs for quite some time now and she has been to several hairstylists who said that there is nothing that they can do for her hair but no not me tees braids and weaves i got you and my client no longer will need to wear hats and scarves because i am going to give her the style that she is looking for she came in today to get a full sew-in weave with a 4x4 lace closure so here i am starting her braid pattern and if you are interested in how i achieve this style please continue to watch creating a nice base or foundation for this hairstyle that I am creating. Because my client does not have hair in the front, I need to create her a hairline. So I braided three small braids going around the front of her head. And here I am creating the hairline by sewing those braids together. And this will be her hairline and where her frontal or her closure will lay. So anytime you have a client that does not have hair in the front and they're suffering from hair loss, alopecia, for whatever reason, you have to create a hairline so you have something to work with. So this is the method that I chose to use. It's a great method. I really love it. If you've never tried it, please try it. From here, I'm going to use a stretchy net, that's a stretchy weave net, and I just cut a piece, and I'm going to use that to continue to expand that hairline, because those braids were not down far enough on her forehead for the hairline for me. So, this stretchy weave net is going to be like a headband, and as you can see, it comes down past those braids and those braids now are going to be used as an anchor for me I'm going to use those braids for an anchor to anchor that headband or that net down so just watch the process it's a little hard to explain but it's going to all work out so keep watching and you'll see exactly how I can use it this style Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment and ask any questions. I love getting questions. As you can see right here, I show the arrow of where the net is. And be sewing those anchor braids down to that net and allow it to stay in place and not move.
right, so I have gotten the weave net all sewn down, the anchor braids are in place, and I have attached the elastic band, the elastic band to her closure. And yes, this elastic band is a method that I always love to use with my clients who have out closure for hair loss. The elastic band definitely keeps the closure or the frontal in place. It keeps it firm, it keeps it tight, and it keeps it secure. So here I am. I oiled her scalp really good before I braided, and I oiled it for the second time with my olive oil, and I put that over the weave net. So again, here I am placing closure on her head making sure that it is comfortable and I am telling you the closure with this elastic band is completely fixed it's attached you don't have to worry about it moving slipping sliding shifting or any of that so I love to use look how, look how firm that is it is perfect it fits perfectly so now I'm going to sew the back part of the closure down and I'm going to be moving on to what? Going in this track to get my client pretty. Yes, that is my ultimate goal. So here I'm just placing the closure just below the net for her hairline. So I do not want the net to be showing at all. However, between the net and the elastic band, that is providing security and providing a hairline for my client. So again, continue to keep watching. So this is the hair we are going to be using. My client brought her own hair in from the local beauty supply. She has 12, 14, and 16 inch and a 14 inch 4x4 closure. I'm going to start with the 16 inch and then move on to the 14 and then on to the 12. Excuse me, she had a 12 inch 4x4 closure, which is going to blend in with that 12 inch that's going to be on the top. So yes, I am sewing the hair to the band so that the band will not move and the hair will help it to be sturdy and to be stable. As well as the 4x4 closure, if you notice, I also sewed that to the band and to that weave net that I had placed underneath. So again, I am sewing through that elastic band on the edges that too will help everything stay intact and stay in place i am telling you this is a perfect method so i'm going to continue sewing upward toward her closure but not on top of the closure because i want it to be nice and flat at the top as possible so that it will look as natural as can be so i'm going to complete the style please keep watching and thank you again so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my 